Welcome Sagittarius to your January 2022 love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. We are just going to take this one. We have the three of swords coming in. So we are going to be looking into your situation, you and your person, what's coming towards you, the challenges, the challenges and what you don't see coming in the potential future. We will clarify uh, we have the star here in reverse, um, some of the cards here, and then we'll get more into your person's true feelings using the untold messages of the heart. So let's go ahead and grab another card for you. So we have the three of swords, which is upheaval and release and the star, okay, in reverse. So the star is usually about renewal, blessings, prayer, turning a lot of darkness into light, uh, but it's in reverse. So let's see. We do have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. We have the Ten of Rings, the Hermit, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay. And the Two of Wands in reverse. Now keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We do have the Knight of Cups coming in with the Hermit. The Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Strength card, the Six of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands with the Six of Wands, oh, and Judgment with the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords and Temperance, okay. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like someone's in major regret, okay, for hurting you here with this Three of Swords. And the reason why I say that is because we do have the Five of Wands and their energy. And in the mutual energy, we have the Ten of Swords, which is showing some painful times here, possibly regret, sadness, um, something that is possibly coming to an end. But I do feel like this Eight of Cups is in the reverse because something's not ready to end. Okay, um, I do feel like there is a withdrawal. Yes, there is losing faith within a situation. Um, we do have the Ace of Wands, so there's no more effort or motivation to invest any more time and energy in this. And the reason why I feel that is because you have given your all with that Knight of Cups is showing nothing but love, nothing but love. This could be a committed relationship or something that you know, is wanting that stability. This could be a family dynamic or a strong connection, but it's all about long term. I feel like somebody is coming in with this four of wands and six of wands energy, wanting victory from a relationship. Okay, but there was somebody lacking here, which in the challenge, there's some unbalance, which is causing a lot of stress on this partnership or again, this situation. The judgment card is coming in because somebody is wanting a second chance, which I feel that they do. They could be having some internal conflict or I feel like this could be an argument or a challenge here that could be blocking the situation from moving forward. This person could be feeling a bit weak. It's like they're having some type of self-doubt or fear and I feel like they have a fear of you leaving them. I feel like this fear is like they're trying to be strong um, maybe putting up a front or however, but really it's like they don't want to lose you. And I think that's why the Six of Swords is coming in, that they're wanting to come in and calm things down. They're wanting some type of balance, okay? A conversation, an honest one. Um, and the Knight of Swords is here, so you could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you don't have to be. But we do have Temperance, so restoring balance here. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is coming in in the outcome. So slowly but surely, there is something here that is wanting success. This could be a long time coming or somebody here just wanting to move with you um, and taking things slow again, right? But there is some type of newfound wisdom I feel like this person is gaining and I feel like they are really hurt for what they've done, okay? Uh, because there's wanting victory here and they're clearly having some ch inner conflict with themselves. I don't feel like you did anything because you're coming in with nothing but love. I feel like more of it's with, within them, okay? There's some inner conflict that is causing them to either lash out, to be 
uncommittal or um, feeling some type of way to where they're lacking a lot. And so there could have been some words exchanged or some actions or some inconsistent energy, but let's go ahead and clarify. So let's get this hermit. Yeah, see, they want that 10 of cups here. Okay, Sag, they do. And then we have lack of commitment, see, laziness, greed. So there, there's something here is that they could be lacking. And I, I've been saying that word. It's like they're needing more expansion in their life, some type of growth, because they want that 10 of cups with you. Okay, they do. Um, but they could be causing all this all of this destruction, all of this pain. Let's get this Knight of Cups energy. Ace of Cups, new. Truth, fairness, clarity, yes. Standing in your truth, wanting what you deserve. Okay, new feeling, spirituality, intuition, the Ace of Cups energy. This is, could be newfound of emotion, but I feel like you're like, you love this person, you care about this person, they have the Ten of Cups in their energy too, but you're being true, you're being honest. This is literally like, you know, I've done everything I could within this situation, but now it's like you came to this place where you're needing to make a choice, right? So this is all about fairness and wanting them to hold accountability for what they've done. And uh, I feel like with this Justice card, there's uh, some truthful conversation coming in. What's this Six of Pentacles? The King of Swords, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there could be some selfish energy, reckless energy, some anger issues here within the situation, somebody doing things without thinking of the consequences. But I do feel as like that's what the challenge is because I feel like by you ending this or wanting to end this and you're already at the Ten of Swords, this could be a big wake up call for them really big wake-up call to where they're wanting to come in with a second chance let's get this ten of swords doubt pride weakness mm -hmm. we have the strength again doubt self-doubt this is pride and it says weakness so there again there's some fear here this is what's scaring them okay pride could be getting in the way of this yes but i feel like in the end of all of this, when everything starts calming down with the Six of Swords, they're coming in. It's like a time for them to reflect. By giving them their space, they're looking at this whole situation and realizing, I don't want to lose Sag. Okay, that's what I'm feeling here. What's this Five of Wands? Heartbreak, suffering, grief. Three of Swords again. I feel like that's both of you guys could be mirroring each other yeah there's there's something here that it hurts it something's painful this could be a breakup a separation and they're not taking it well okay and I feel like you're standing in your truth like I've done everything I could I don't know what else to do you know like this person keeps messing up or uh, being inconsistent and it, it hurts too much you know so what, what can you do the only thing that that can change is if this person comes to some type of realization. Okay, what's his strength card? Yeah, they're trapped in their mind. This is all about fear. This is in their head about you here, okay? We do have the Empress in reverse, so they could be looking at you as loving and caring and unconditional, and that is what is keeping them thinking. Like, I don't think I'm gonna find anybody like, like Sag. Let's see a Six of Swords. ace of swords someone's very restless okay to talk to you um the page of swords yes it could be you know curiosity spying um but this is really focusing on you they, they want to message you they want to talk to you they want to know what's on your mind what's going to happen next in a way um, but they're coming in pretty childish with their words and their actions and i feel like that's the pride um, and then we have isolation with the three of cups or could okay So for some of you there could have been a third-party situation not for all of you There could have been treating cheating possibly in the past or some some dishonesty here um, But the three of cups is mostly stating that there could be some drinking and I understand that's a little odd to say but 
Three of Cups is like more of like party, community, and everything like that. But there could it says overindulgence. Uh, so when it's in reverse, someone could be texting you or really up in their head if they're if they're drinking, however, um, and maybe wanting to message you. But I would I would just be careful with that energy. But it's more of like this person wanting to come towards you. OK, we do have the Knight of Pentacles coming in in the outcome. Ugh. See, it's like they've been a, they've been like this for a long time. I feel like their pride is going to ruin this. Um, okay, that's an indecision. It's a stalemate. And it's because of their reckless behavior. But the overall energy is stating somebody wants a second chance in this relationship, but the potential outcome is still a, some type of stalemate. Like this action, like it's more of a truthful conversation of like this 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 behavior needs to stop okay so everything could be at a pause right now as there is a choice being made okay Sag let's go ahead and grab the untold messages from your person and see what is coming in what do they have to say to Sagittarius sensitive thinking about you makes me emotional and i want to open up to you about how i'm feeling time i know the clock is ticking for us won't you wait for me gentle i'm staying away from you because the last thing i want to do is hurt you exactly that's what i mentioned in the beginning and codependency i need you and yes whatever that may be for you okay um, unresolved so much has happened between us in the past can we work through it again that's where that judgment card is coming in so there could be a feeling of like yes this person's wanting to come in um, but again that could really be with anything here any questions that you have with this like about your feelings um, and then we have baggage I'm sweeping away toxicity to make room for what's truly important yes and that is them inner conflict that they're having Okay, Sag, let's go ahead and pull from the Lovers of Oracles. Yeah, very strong reading here. Uh, let's see. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, look at this. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change what is that is which are is beyond our control and that's what i feel like you're doing you're like okay well there's nothing else i can do like this person's the one that has to change they're the one that has to figure things out because you've done everything that you could in this situation right okay guys i'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here i really hope you enjoyed this reading sag and if you did please like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys for mid-january god bless